I've seen all the time preaching in church, and I've you know, been talking about prosperity or, or healing or something of that nature, and find myself leaving empty because I've not been able to give somebody a tool to take with them. Mm -hmm. Give them a resource to say, here, use this. Tonight we're going to hear from David Hart in just a minute. That's going to be the resource person. He's a person that's actually taken the time to study an industry for the last 20 years, been involved in direct sales that long period of time, has gone to the top of many companies and has seen success in a tremendous way, has also seen the downfalls that companies have had. And as, a, as an independent representative, as a, a, a leader in a company, now an owner of a company, he's decided to right some of the wrongs. And he's doing that in a major way in an industry that has really taken off. How many of you have a cell phone today? How many, now to use your cell phone. <laughs> How many know what a mobile app is? Do you believe that advertising in the future will go back to newspaper again? No. Real big? You think it's going to be just in radio again? You think it's going to be just in TV again? We talk about these kind of things on, in our church services on Sunday sometimes because those vehicles are old and outdated. And anything that we come up with today that's going to be used effectively is going to be right in the mobile area. Any company, organization, any people group that gets involved in this particular industry will find themselves doing something really, really big. Now, we don't want to bypass the internet because the internet's a big part of the world, a big part of our, our life today, isn't it? But you know that there are more people that access the internet on their mobile device than they do on their computer. Because every one of us here right now can get access to the, computer, to the internet right now on our, on our mobile device. Because we choose to. And that's happening more and more and more. A friend of mine right down the street here has a dance work company. And she says people walk in her store, check out their mobile device, checking the prices of other stores, compare them to her store, mm. and they check the prices and they decide to go ahead and make a purchase at somebody else's store. Right in her store. How disrespectful is that? <laughs> How disrespectful is that? Well, David's company is helping to put a stop to that kind of stuff. Mm. And it's kind of a really, really unique concept. So this evening, what we're going to do, we are going to do some more now. We're going to at the very end of our time together tonight. But I want to have David Hart come and just give you a, just share his vision with you tonight. Because he's got something that really, again, hit my heart in a big way. So if you would allow, give David a warm welcome as he comes in. Somebody. I looked at my brothers, they looked at me, and I was the oldest of the three of them. 
And they said, and they said did you bring any money or lunch or anything? He said, no. Pops walked into the, into the hamburgers, right? Ordered his food, sat down, and ate in front of us. <laughs> and at the time, I said, who does that? And for many years past that, I said, who does that? But I learned this lesson about being responsible. Mm -hmm. I learned the lesson about planning for the future. Mm -hmm. And it really set me up. Um, you know, when I graduated eighth grade, my father told me, he says, okay, virtually you're a man now, so if you want new school clothes, uh, you need to buy things, you need to plan for it. You need to go figure out how to make a living and do that in the eighth grade. And, uh, you know, it, it, and friends on our street, their parents were buying them cars. They were giving them money to take their girlfriends out. They were paying for uh, proms, but not my father. He was painting stroke and um, teaching entrepreneur, entrepreneurism to his, to his children, to his boys. And uh, I remember sitting me down one day, and he, he inspired me. He shared with me, he says, David, do you want to create income? Let me show you a way to create income. I did this when I was your age. He said, 1979, he said to me, he goes, you can make up to $45 a day painting curves. You know the curves on the sides? Numbers. Uh, the numbers. He says, but you're going to have to save up money to go buy the stencils and the paint to be able to do that. He wouldn't, do, he wouldn't buy any of that stuff for me. So I went around the neighborhood and I cut lawns, saved up money. I knocked on doors, cut lawns, saved up money uh, to be able to buy the paint and the stencils. And, and I got to the point where I had enough money to go buy the paint and sten stencils. What he did that was so magical was that he inspired me with a dream on a way to create income. But he took it one step further. I remember him telling me, he says, now what are you going to do with that money, son? Well, you can go out and make $45 a day painting curves. And, when, you know, back in 1979, and you're 12 years old or 13, whatever that was at that time, dang, that was a lot of money. And we began to talk about what I was going to do with that money, how I was going to spend it, the things that I was going to buy. And so he inspired me that way. And I remember going out painting curves, and uh, in my local community, in Temecula back in 1979, oh, yeah. they didn't have curves. Right? <laughs> there was no curves. So I remember him. We, I remember getting in the car with him, and we drove to him because they had curves. And that's back then. That's where all the old folks lived, right? And I remember. I remember him telling me, "Well, you're ready to go. You know, about eight o'clock in the morning." He says, I'll be back at 4 o'clock. He took all my stuff out of the car, and he left. I was 13 years old or 12 years old. It would be terrifying for most kids, right? And I was shaking. But there was a moment I had a decision to make. Did I want to, did I want to go out and make it happen? Or was I not going to make it happen? Mm. And I made a decision that day that I was going to go make it happen at 12 and a half years old or almost 13. And I started knocking on doors to a lot of angry old folks. And I was out there all day. But you know what? At the end of the day, I had painted 12 or 13 curves for $3 a piece and made about $40 with tips. And I was excited. I was excited about the ability to create income with my own two hands. And that kind of just catapulted throughout my whole life. I ended up uh, starting a lawn care business, too. I ended up starting a car wash and detail business that actually, by the time I was 23 or 24 years old, it was, uh, I was an entrepreneur, uh, I was an Inc. Magazine Entrepreneur of the Year under the age of 25. Yeah. I had built the largest mobile detail business in Southern California. We had dozens of trucks on the road cleaning cars, and it was the first of its concept to be able to do that. We had business in Palm Springs and all over Temecula. Nowadays, you see people all over town with water trucks, with water in the back of the truck cleaning cars and whatnot, right? It was pretty much, we pretty much pioneered that back in the late uh, 80s and early 90s. Um, somewhere about my mid-20s or 30s, I guess my mid-20s, somebody introduced me to this industry called network marketing. And I was a guy that was very successful, making a lot of income. And I didn't feel like I had time for it, but I, I met somebody that was very successful in the business. And he said something to me. He says, if you could do what you want to do in terms of creating income, if you could have the income and do what you want to do, would that be a good combination? 
And I said, yeah, because I work like 70 hours a week and I have no time to do anything. He says, well, if I show you a way to create an income and have, have you have the ability to have control of time, would that be something of interest to you? And I said, absolutely. So I went down this journey with him. 20 years later into this industry, I built five huge downline big teams all over the country. And each and every time I was disappointed by ownership of the company. And I said, I finally got to the point, I said, you know what? If I'm going to build this in this industry and in this business, you know, I need to provide an opportunity for the people that I lead that's going to be stable here long term. And so we begin this journey about 15 months ago. We came up with a, a product or a service that helps people save money. The name of our company is called Paid to Save Network. And we have a mobile app that people can download for free. And that mobile app will let people save money all over town. It also give you the opportunity to create income. The Pay to Save mobile app uh, has been its, in its um, proof of concept phase over the last 120 days. And uh, we had major proof of concepts. Uh, we've had over 565 merchants come onto our mobile app all over the country and provide their deals, steals, and coupons for people to take advantage of. We've had more than uh, 7,400 customers download the app for free. Yesterday alone, we had over 200 people download the mobile app. And you might be going, well, what's this all about? How would this, how, how could I take advantage of this? Well, if you're an entrepreneur and you're a business owner, number one, um, you might want to think about advertising uh, on our mobile app um, and put your goods and your services on, your, on our mobile app. Um, you guys heard of a little company called Groupon? They were the fastest company to go to a billion dollars. And their offer to business owners was simply this. Only pay us for results-based marketing. You only have to pay us when we bring you a customer. The problem with the Groupon model is it doesn't fit local small merchants. Mm -hmm. Because Groupon demands that you give up 50% to a discount. Mm -hmm. So every dollar that you charge, 50% is a discount. And then on that last 50 cents on that dollar, we're going to take 25 cents of that. We're going to leave you with 25 cents. Pretty tough business model for uh, any business to survive on that, right? 25 cents on every dollar. Mm -hmm. But still, they're the fastest company to grow to a billion dollars in sales. Mm -hmm. What they had was a product, that, that, a service that made sense to small business owners, which is called results-based marketing. That's what we've done with our mobile app. Most business owners don't understand the cost of a customer, or customer acquisition, what it costs to get a customer through that door. We have a very simple way for a business owner to understand that cost. You can step on our pay to save mobile app as a business owner for free. You can advertise your offers, your deals uh, to our community. And I'll talk about how our community is going to grow in a minute and how you might want to participate in that. Uh, and we only charge you when a customer walks through your door. We have what's called geofence marketing. Um, people can see your ads, they can see your deals and your offers, but they don't become live until they walk through the door. As they walk through the door, they can hit redeem offer, and a deal key code comes up that they give to the business owner, and that, and that offer's been redeemed. So in our local town, one of my favorite places to go to um, is our, my dry cleaning company. You know, they say, hey, listen, if you do $20 worth of uh, uh, dry cleaning, we'll take $8 off the bill. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? So every, every week, me, my wife or I go in there, I pull out my mobile app, I show my mobile app, they redeem the offer, I save 8 bucks. The dry cleaning place loves us because it's results-based at marketing. Because he told me what he typically did in the past was that he would run... Uh, or run ads or radio, radio ads with no, with no measurable results. Pay his money up front and just kind of cast it out and see what happens. A buddy of mine ran a radio ad for a lawn care business, spent $1,000. He got two calls and no business. He can step onto our app, run his ad, we'll charge him when he shows up to the customer's place to redeem the offer. Our, our, our fee structure is very affordable. 
it's ten percent of whatever the offer is. So let's we have another uh, uh, merchant on our app that does uh, pizza. He's a pizza guy, and he says, you know, buy one pizza, get the next pizza for free. You guys have seen those deals. Mm -hmm. So we go in there, and anytime we uh, some some customer redeems the offer, uh, we charge them a dollar seventy-five. He loves that deal. Why does he love that deal? Because he knows that the advertising that he's paying for is working. Do you see the power of that? So how does this all work with, with you in the, in the public and, and to create income? Um, you can actually come into our company for free, become what's called a connector, which is nothing more than a customer. As a, as a connector or customer, you're going to have the ability to re redeem offers on the app. Uh, I should mention in August 8th, 9th, and 10th at our convention, we we're actually going to launch um, the second part of our mobile app, which allows you to save money at all the big box retailers. Um, you can walk into JCPenney's and pull up the 20% off coupon. You can walk into a Costco, get $120 off a tablet. Every big box retailer, there's over 20,000 retailers um, throwing feeds into our app where you can actually just uh, do a search. When you walk into their store, to the big box retail stores, their offers are going to come up right on your smartphone. And you might see an offer there that you can use. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time somebody wanted to pay retail? You know anybody who wants to pay retail? Absolutely not. So we have a way for people to save money just by taking uh, the mobile the mobile app on their smartphone and searching through the different feeds to create a savings. So we have a national, we have a national presence coming in into the marketplace here across the United States. Um, we have a local presence where you can market your business. Um, you can come on to the app and become a connector for free and download the app. And in, in uh, August, uh, you're going to have the ability to um, share that mobile app uh, with people. Maybe you, anybody here have a Facebook account? Yes, yes. Everybody, social media, maybe email address. You might run across somebody in town you know. And I'll go back, I want to share one quick story. Um, my next door neighbor was like, hey, I need a new dry cleaner. I said, you do? I said, hey, listen, download my mobile app. You can save eight bucks at, at, at my dry cleaner every time you spend $20. He was like, no kidding, really. He said, he went to the app store, gave him my ID number so I could track that he was my customer, and I'll share that in a minute. Um, and he started saving money every time he went to the, that dry cleaner, every single time. So you're going to run across people that like to save money, right? I mean, that's kind of, you know, people are looking for ways to, I believe, to keep more of what they made, especially over the last 10 years of today's economic climate. People are always looking for ways to save money. <coughs> In August 8th and 9th, we launch a new tool that will allow you to share the mobile app with everybody you have in social media. Um, I'll share the story with you that, um, you know, I have about 2,000 friends on my Facebook page. The average person probably has about 200 friends on their Facebook page. When you come onto the mobile app, you have the ability to share the app with all your friends on Facebook. And the reason you might want to do that is every person that you share the app with and they download the app, we're going to pay you through our system called Incentivize Sharing. We're going to pay you 5% every time they redeem an offer on the mobile app just for sharing it. Um, give you an idea. If you had 200 friends to download, and 10% and of those people downloaded the mobile app, that would be 20 people, right? And those 20 people invited their friends off Facebook, and they downloaded the mobile app. At your second level, you would have over 400 friends download the mobile app. And that continues on. By the time you get to your fourth level, there's 160,000 customers that have downloaded the mobile app. Anytime one of those people redeems any offer, you can create an income. You can create a check through our incentivized sharing program. If they walk through the store of another business and they patronize that business and accept that offer for, uh, you know, two pizzas for the price of one, they take $8 off of their dry cleaning, 
that business owner pays us for that customer, we pass part, uh, part of that commission back on to you. Anytime they walk in, they redeem an offer um, at JCPenney's. JCPenney's has a coupon they pay us to market to customers. And when those, when those coupons are redeemed, we get paid commissions. We, we pass those commissions back on to you. You get paid a piece of that. But here's the beauty of it. It's not about what you can do. It's about what we can do collectively. It's about masses of people looking for what's called a great deal. See, one thing I do understand is that before all of us were born and long after all of us are gone, people are going to be looking for ways to get good deals. Would you guys agree with that? Mm -hmm. That's what our mobile app does. It allows you to get a good deal at all the major uh, retailers across the nation. It allows you to get a, it allows you to get a, a great deal anytime you access a local merchant. You can create income um, by sharing the mobile app with merchants. Um, uh, you know, you can walk, you, everybody, everybody knows a lot of local merchants, right? So you can go share the mobile app with, with a merchant. They can, they can come on, put their ad on the mobile app, and uh, anytime a customer redeems an offer, you pick up 10% of that offer for life. So you sign up a merchant on the mobile app, you can do that for free. You don't have to be, you don't have to be a brand partner in our business. You can be what's called a connector. You can go out and sign a merchant up on, on the mobile app, and any time customers walk through and redeem that offer off that mobile app, you can get paid 10% of that offer for the life of that business. To give you an idea how powerful that is, in our local community, there's a yogurt shop that um, put out an ad through Groupon. And over one weekend, they sold over 850 coupons for that ad for Groupon. If you were the business that signed that up in our business model, just that weekend, you would have made about $170. And then every weekend that ad runs, you continue to make money over and over and over again. Um, so that's our, that, that's our mobile app. Um, we have a business side to our model as well that can allow you to create income if you're looking for uh, a, a different way of create income, if you're looking for subsidize your income. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to talk with you guys about that in the future or even after this. Um, so, uh, you know, I think that's what you wanted me to kind of go through, correct? So uh, thank you guys for allowing me to share. Two nine six one two. That's my code. Two nine six one two, 
and you can download the app. If you like saving money, it's a good way to do it. If you want to begin to grow your own business, it's a good way to do it. Because your business can be inside of a mobile app now. That's something that's a little bit different than what you've done in the past. If you've never done anything in reference to networking that I'm talking about, this will be something a little bit different because as entrepreneurs, we're going to build a community of people that are going to be on mission to help each other do business together for the purpose of extending the kingdom, but also for the purpose of extending our businesses. So I want to encourage you to take advantage of this for yourself if you choose to do that. It's not for everybody, by the way, but for those that it is for, you can take advantage of it tonight. Again, you can go to Google Play, or you can go to the App Store, at, uh, and again, use the code 29612. You can do that right on your mobile phone. Pretty easy to do. Let's go. Boom. Uh, one thing I forgot to add, too, if, if you are looking to advertise, you know, at Pay to Save, we give you your first 10 customers for free. So we, we tell you, you know what, a try before you buy. You can put your ad on the, uh, on the mobile app. Uh, you can link it to your Facebook page. You can send push notifications out. Uh, to people that are driving by in your local area, and the first 10 customers for free. And uh, there's no obligation beyond that. If you like that service and you think that's a great way to, you know, gather a customer, uh, continue using our service. So, Now, I want to encourage you tonight to continue to network as well. Network with each other. We're anticipating more people to show up. But this is the first time we're doing this, by the way. So as we have more people come to these events down the road, uh, you'll be hearing about pay to save as well. So you know that. You'll be hearing about pay to save. But at the same time, we'll be doing the networking part as a way to encourage people to come see about what your business is. Because, I listen, I, I pastor a church. That's what I do. I preach the gospel. That's what I do. But I also have businesses that I have income coming from. I do advertising online. I have income coming from that. I have other businesses that I have income coming from as well. I saw an opportunity here uh, to become a brand partner, and I studied it before I decided to become a brand partner. And as I studied this model, I said, hmm, there could be something here. And then when I had a chance to meet David personally, I said, there is something here. I happen to know one of the guys that's involved, uh, Todd Strang, uh, from years and years back, and has an impeccable reputation for what he does in this industry. 